In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a free Minecraft server using Eternos. Now, Eternos is one of the most popular and well-known server hosting out there. So the first thing you want to do in order to make an Eternos server is open up any web browser. You could do this both on a desktop or on a mobile device. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and look up Eternos just like so, then go ahead and press on enter and you want to go to the official Eternals.org website just like so. Now it is going to greet you with a page that looks like this. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button over here that does say play and then just go ahead and press on that we now need to go ahead and create an Eternals account now you guys have two different options you guys can go ahead and create a new one entirely over here or you could sign in with Google and then it is automatically going to create a new account for you so if you were to press sign up you can go ahead and enter your username over here and you just need to press on agree to the terms and service I agree that my personal data is stored and then you will need to create a strong password so let's just go ahead and do this option over here. So I'm just going to come up with a unique username really quickly. Okay, so here's my username and then I'm just going to press on next just like so. And now you need to go ahead and enter in your password and then retype the password and then an email as well, which is optional, but I recommend that you guys do it. Okay, afterwards, you just want to go ahead and press on sign up just like so and then you should be good to go. And then it is going to greet you with a screen that looks like this. Now, even though Eternals is a great option, unfortunately, it is not the best one out there. There are many other server hosting providers out there that provide better services, one of them being Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you can create a 24 7 server for you and all of your friends. You can make a crossplay, you can make a Java only, Bedrock only, you can add any mod or even mod pack of your choice, and you can customize every single aspect of it. And also, there's 24 7 live customer support so you can ask a server expert to help you out with any of your issues. Simple Game Hosting is incredibly beginner friendly and it is a premium server meaning that you're never going to have to worry about lag or anything like that. And they optimize every single aspect of their server, unlike Eternos. And at the moment, they're currently doing a site-wide sale where everybody gets 25% off their very first month of Minecraft server hosting. So guys, if you want a higher quality server than Eternos, then I suggest checking out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and press on this button over here that says create a new server. Then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this and here's where things get a little bit important you want to go ahead and select whether you want your server to be java edition or bedrock so for this video i'm just going to go ahead and go with bedrock edition however if you wanted to you could make it java edition as well and then over here you could select on the actual like server description of your server you can even change the profile picture of your server and you can change the description over here and again just adjust it to your liking it is 100 up to you and you can even add like colors which is honestly a really neat touch over here you can even make like bold words and stuff like that so i definitely love the attention to detail but anyways guys once you're 100 satisfied with the way your server is looking all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on create just like so and then it is going to go ahead and say your server is now ready now one good thing about eternos is that it is relatively easy but one thing that i don't like about eternos is the absurd amount of advertisements as you're able to tell there is a ton of advertisements over here all right but it is then going to give you this option that says back up your server so i actually recommend that you guys do this back it up using your google drive account in case anything bad happens to your server I always suggest doing it, but for simplicity purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this option over here. All right. And then you're going to be bought to the server dashboard. Now in this server dashboard, there is a lot of different options over here. So I'm going to briefly explain um, the main important parts of the dashboard. So over here is your server address and your port and the software and the Minecraft version. At any point in time, you guys can change the software or the Minecraft version if you want. Those are important things that you guys should know. And over here where it does say console, you guys can go ahead and actually write your commands. And this is basically going to give you like a written history showing you exactly what is going on in your server. So, so every time somebody logs in, it is going to let you know in the log. Every time somebody types in the chat, it is going to appear right here. Over here, we do have the world files as well. So you can go ahead and upload like your custom worlds if you want. And it will also give you more like tutorials as well. For example, there's tutorials for how to download add-ons, how to upload files, how to install data packs, all that good stuff. And there really is a lot of great options. There's also this section over here that says players. And this is where you can select people as operator and you can make an allow list, which is basically like a white list over here. So those are certainly great options over here. And they also do provide you with more written guides that you guys should take a look at. All right. And uh, over here, we do have the option section, and this is just a bunch of different toggles. So if you want more people to join your server, here's where you can go ahead and change it. If you want to change the difficulty, here's where you would do it. If you want to change the game mode, you can go ahead and do it right over here, crack, etc. And over here, you guys can select on the time zone. 
Okay, but once you're 100% satisfied with your server, you made all of the necessary adjustments that you wanted to, what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on start. And then it is going to go ahead and actually provide you with an advertisement, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but if you were to use something like simple game hosting, you would never see advertisements. But anyways, guys, what you want to do from here is you want to press on yes, I accept the EULA. And now it is going to begin your server. All right, guys, and now the server is online. So now let me show you guys how to join it. So first off, you want to go ahead and copy the address and the port over here. So please make sure you keep note of this. And now what we're going to be doing is just we're going to go ahead and open up Minecraft right over here. All right, guys, once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on play, then select over here where it says servers. Then afterwards, you want to go ahead and press over here where it says add server. Then you want to paste in the server address. And also what you need to do is you need to go ahead and copy the port, which is right here. And then you want to load back into Minecraft and then just put it here where it says port. And once you make sure that the server address and the port is correct, go ahead and press on add and play just like so. And now it is going to begin to say connecting to external server. Now, you guys may have noticed that there was a timer whenever we started our server. And that timer basically means that whenever that timer runs out, if there is no activity in the server, Eternals is automatically going to shut it down. So that means that in order for your server to stay online, it needs to be active. People need to be on it. And if nobody is on it or there's no activity for seven minutes, then it is automatically going to close down the server, which is kind of a bummer. And that's why I suggest using services like Simple Game Hosting, because that is one limitation of Eternals. All right, guys. So here we are and we are now loaded into our Minecraft server. So, yep, here we are, guys. And basically what you would need to do is you would need to share the IP and the port with you and your friends. And they would just need to go ahead and do the exact same thing as you. They would need to go to the servers tab and then just type in the IP and the port and then both of you guys will be able to go ahead and play together. So remember guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later French fries.